Hi everybody. So today um, I'm going to kind of make up for not putting up a video yesterday for Mother's Day. Um, so I'm going to show you one of the projects that I'm working on this week. It's um, a soap boat race. So let me show you how to build a track for your soap boats. What you're going to need is a one piece of a gutter. I got this at Home Depot and it was about 10 feet tall or long I should say and I had my dad cut it in half so this is five feet I gave the other one to my coworker for her to use in her classroom this week so I'm only using one and you can also buy these um, gutter uh, caps and they do make it waterproof so no water will escape and you're just gonna need two of those one on each end and then what I did this um, today, since today's Monday, I introduced it to the kids. First, I had the kids take home um, their homework packets at the beginning of May, and I had them make their own soap boat. So that was kind of the homework for this month was for them to bring it in today so that we can have their soap boat races. So they brought in their soap boats, and we sat on the rug together, and I had a little bucket of water, and I slowly started pouring some water in. So I'm going to do that now, too. And we just introduced them to the water, and we poured a little bit at a time, and I asked them, will the soap boats... Um, Will they go faster in a little bit of water or a lot of water? And that was kind of our experiment. Um, so let me go get a soap boat and I will show you kind of the experiment that we did today. Okay, so here is one of the soap boats that I'm going... Uh-oh, it came off. Let's stick that back in. Okay, so here is one of the soap boats. And um, I let the kids do, the, do this themselves. And then we... Um, slowly lifted it up and as you can see it didn't really go down very far there it goes it went all the way down okay so we just practiced a few times and we discovered that um, it didn't really matter so much about how much water was in it it mattered more about uh, what the shape of your soap boat was so the boats that were smaller and about this size worked the best but they also sometimes got stuck depending on how they shape the front this one's kind of sh shaped into a V and sometimes that got stuck so it would get pushed up against the sides and it would get stuck so we had a nice experiment of um, which ones would get stuck which ones wouldn't uh, the bigger boats the smaller boats which ones would go faster and it was a whole lot of fun and we're gonna do this for the rest of the week this week we are studying water the theme is just add water and next week is splash into summer which is another water theme so we're gonna be doing this for two weeks and probably up to the last day of school since we have about two and a half weeks left so um, this is a really fun projects just to have lay laying around um, they're really excited about it and each day I'm gonna kind of pull back a little bit so that way they kind of do it independently without making a giant mess now since this is just water it's gonna dry and it's not gonna be that big of a deal like today it kind of got pretty messy and we had it on the rug over here and it's already dried the only spots like right here that's just it's just soap but um yeah and it was really fun because they got to wash their hands and they're like, yay, my hands are all clean already. So this is a really fun project, especially for summer. And it teaches them a lot of, um, there it goes. <laughs> it teaches them a lot of um, science lessons for being so young. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for another one right after this. Bye.